Rainwater has lots of different benefits that we can use the water and use it for lots of different purposes. But also collecting that rainwater has a way of also alleviating some problems and that's what we have here in this facility. This is a livestock show barn that our kids are using. We've continually added on to those facilities, increasing the amount of impervious area that we have here. And in doing that, we increase the amount of water that runs off or the amount of storm water increases. And in this site, we have a very low site. And so all that water just stands here, creating a problem for our, our people as they try to park, as they try to move here. So to alleviate that problem, we've included a rainwater capture system and a collection tank. So we're using that water, catching it off of this building, diverting it into that tank, and then we're using that water not only to irrigate the facilities around here in our landscape, but also to provide water for our livestock and be able to wash them whenever we have our livestock show. At this facility, we have a unique situation. The problem is that the roof of our building is the same height as the top of our collection tank. And so the water needs to, some way to move downhill by gravity, and we don't have that situation here. So what we've done is from our gutters, we have a conversion that goes to a four inch PVC pipe. And then from there, the water is being moved on down through our pipe down underground. So it's out under the way of all of our kids and everyone at this facility. Then the tank that's underground, we have an overflow that's connected to that same four inch pipe uh, that diverts this water out as this tank gets full if we have too heavy a rain event. In this tank, as the water moves in, we have a third horse power sump pump that as the water level rises up, that the float comes on and as it kicks on the pump and there it pumps the water into our 10,000 gallon collection tank. This is a 10,000 gallon uh, corrugated steel collection tank that has a vinyl liner on the inside. It also has a sand floor on this rather than a concrete or wooden floor on it. The sand is held in place by rocks that we have as well as the cross ties. Once this tank is full, then this is our overflow that's on the back side that allows the water then to move away from our building. During the summer months, much of our water goes to our landscape. In some cities, as much as 50% of that annual water used is in our landscape. And so if we can reduce the amount of water by capturing that water and collecting it in a storage tank as we're doing in this facility, then we can reduce the amount of water that we use uh, in our landscape and reduce the total amount of water that we're dependent on a municipal water supply. Here in this facility, we're using gravity flow or just a gravity pressure to push that water through this one half inch poly pipe that we have all connected through here. And then from it, we have connections that are, are going to each individual plant. I have an emitter on each plant and I can adjust it based on how much water that plant needs, whether it needs a whole lot or needs very little, thus by conserving water and using the amount of water that each plant needs to do its best.